Hello, girl. We are doing a challenge. What do you prefer? A raw chicken or a Nutella? Whichever you choose, you can keep it. Nutella. Hello, girl. We are doing a challenge. What do you prefer? A raw chicken or a jar of Nutella? Whichever you choose, you can keep it. Really? Yes. The Nutella. Hello, girl. What do you prefer? Raw chicken or Nutella? Whichever you choose, you can keep it. The chicken. It's yours. Take it. Thank you. And if you don't mind me asking you, why did you choose chicken when most of the children have chosen Nutella? It's just that my family struggles a lot to get food. And I prefer to help them, so they don't struggle so much anymore. Because if I choose Nutella, it would only be for me, and the chicken would be for my entire family. And who are you coming with? Are you here alone? No, I am with my grandma. And where is she? She is over there. Shall we go to your grandmother? Okay. Look, Granny, I want a chicken. And how did you do it? They made me choose between this chicken or a jar of Nutella, and I chose the chicken. But who? Who gave you that? This nice gentleman. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, young man. We were doing a challenge with some kids, and we gave them the opportunity to choose a chicken or a Nutella. Most of them have chosen a jar of Nutella. I was actually very surprised that your granddaughter chose the chicken. She told me a little about how she lives at home, about how much you struggle to get food. And I was very surprised by the values that this girl has, the good heart she has. And I want to congratulate you on having this awesome granddaughter. Oh, young man, thank you very much. It's really, really nice to hear that. Honestly, she's a good girl, since she was little. And I already knew that she was a great girl. So I want her to be well at home. We have taken care of her. Apart from everything else, we want her to have good values that are already being lost, you know? But well, our situation has been very difficult, we haven't had a good time. And why has it been difficult? Does the girl have some kind of problem or where are her parents? Well, that is a very, very sad story. Very bitter to tell. She already knows what I'm talking about. Well, sadly her parents died. And we, my husband and I, took care of her. I don't know if it was the best decision. We really doubted whether it was for the best, because we're older people, you know? And although we have not lacked essential things, we still have expenses. It is not easy at all, educating such a small human being and on top of that, Worry that she doesn't lack anything, like clothes, food, school. She needs a good education. Although if I being honest, the truth is that I don't know how far we are going to get with what we have. So far, well, I think we manage. But I think she, well, she is at an age where she is beginning to need, well, more things, that maybe we won't be able to give her. For example, her clothes, right? She doesn't have much. She doesn't have many clothes, and the few she has is because they have been given to her. Their cousins have helped her. But, anyway, well, I know she would like to have brand new clothes. And I'm worried about what's going to happen next, because right now she is in elementary school. But in our case, my husband and I, we find the situation very difficult. Also, my husband is sick. And honestly, they no longer give us work that easily. It is very hard, very bitter, because we would like to do more for her. But the situation does not allow us to do so. Fortunately she is a very mature girl for her age, very understanding and patient. Because I see that there are children who throw tantrums and tantrums when their parents don't buy them toys or something. But she understands everything. But still, we would rather give her everything, 
We would love to give her everything she deserves and what she wants. My husband and I, we want the best for her. Well, congratulations, ma'am. The truth is that you had done a very nice job educating her with such good values and making her a good girl, because she immediately thought of the well-being of everyone, of having food for everyone, and she told me that the chicken would be for everyone and the Nutella would be for her alone. So that's why she chose it, so that not only her, but everyone would have something to eat today. She didn't seem selfish at all, quite the opposite. I want to reward you. And I want to reward the girl for being such a good girl, for having such a good heart, and you for being such a good grandmother. And look, inside that chicken is a gift for you. There's a surprise. A gift? Yes, inside the chicken. Look for it, come on. Look for it in there. I don't see anything. Let's see. There. Do you see it? There is a plastic bag. Grab it carefully. Oh my. And that money? That money is for you, ma'am. But why? It is a reward. For you. Because you are a great-grandmother. To the good heart that you and your granddaughter have. But if you don't know us? I don't know you. But this is actually a social experiment. I went out to the street to test the children, to see what they decided to choose between a Nutella and a chicken. And let me tell you that... All the children chose Nutella, but your granddaughter was the only one who chose the chicken. And that was thanks to the education you have given her. She is a very good girl, with good feelings, with a good heart. And believe me, that has to have a reward. And that's valuable to me. That money is for you, so that you can help yourselves. So that you can help your husband, so that you can help yourself too. But look, I mean, to begin with, it's just too much money. How can I take something that is not mine, that I have not earned? Look, think that life is giving you back just a little for being such a kind soul, and that is compensating you for everything you suffered with the loss of the girl's parents. Well, yes, I could think that there is divine justice, but I have never believed in miracles. I mean, who suddenly shows up and gives you money? Just like that? And out of nowhere, because life is so difficult, how could I think something like that would happen to us? And the truth is, I think you are like an angel. Thank you. And that's what you're going to be for me. If I accept this, it really is because there is something very important. I know. Behind this whole situation. That sometimes seems so unfair and because I think it has to exist. Some kind of kindness that permeates everything, and then it is also trusting. We have to trust that good people still exist. We wanted to believe that there are good people. Look, I also want to give you this money to help yourself. But it's just too much. But you deserve it, ma'am. Think that I'm not the one who gives them to you. That is God, that is life. And that's because you deserve it, ma'am. It's just that this seems to me so unbelievable. Look, the truth is I didn't plan this, but I was very moved by your story. I was very moved by the beautiful feelings that your granddaughter has, and because you are a great grandmother. And from today, I want to take charge of the girl's education. I'm going to pay for her school. I'm going to pay for supplies, the uniforms. I'm going to pay for everything until this girl becomes a professional. I'm going to pay for her university as well. Oh, don't tell me that. Look, the truth is, I'm going to tell you something. If this were for me, I really wasn't going to accept it. Because no, I don't know. It's hard for me. They didn't educate us like that. But you know what? I'm going to accept it for her and my husband. Because I know. I'm sure she deserves better. And that has been my greatest regret. Not giving her what she deserves. That's why I would accept it, honestly. I hope there won't be any retaliation for accepting other people's money later. And I want to think. 
that she deserves it and so does my husband. Yes, they deserve it, ma'am. You deserve it. Your husband deserves it for everything you have suffered, and the girl deserves it for what a good girl she is. I can't believe it. Yes, from today you won't have to struggle anymore, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me for being like this, but I don't know what to say, because this is something very unexpected. Thank you very much. This is real, ma'am. It's not a dream. Can I give you a hug? Of course, ma'am. Thank you very much. I thank you very much for everything. <laughs>